If you're looking to sell or buy cheap CSGO skins, check out bitskins.com. Hello, welcome to Atten Games. Today we're going to be breaking down a B-Rush on Dust 2 by the old Kingwin lineup against Cloud9 at the Cologne Major last year. Yes, that's right, I said a B-Rush. A lot of teams are pretty clueless when they rush B, but Kingwin make great use of their utility by doing the standard smoke and flash out on the site, but then followed up by numerous flashes into the fence. The fence flashes are absolutely key as they don't blind the Kingwin side as they enter onto site, but totally blinds Sean Gares at big box as well as nothing who doesn't even have the chance to dodge them behind the smoke. This allows for some easy entries and super fast control of the B site. It's then just a case of using the rest of the smokes and molotovs to further delay Cloud9's retake to win the round and the game. Rain has the best spawn and is the first one into the site. He throws a smoke and a flash off the wall to B and then a final flash to the fence. It's his job to check if anyone is playing either Car or Cubby. In this situation, it's actually clear and he finds an easy frag onto a completely blind nothing on the site. Once the site is clear, he instantly uses his Molotov for window and gets his second kill of the round onto Skadoodle, who tries to get away with the surprise peek. With his bomb down, he makes sure to hold a passive position at the back of platform in order to not give away any easy entrances for Cloud9. Dennis has the second best spawn for the B site and throws one flash towards the fence. He's totally focused on the other angle that Rain isn't watching, which is towards the site behind the smoke. Once the site is clear, he goes to initially smoke the door, but as a teammate just smoked it already, he tries to readjust for the window, but actually fails it instead. It's worth mentioning here that Dennis is the only one with a grenade instead of a Molotov. This isn't out of choice, he actually still had this from the previous round, and with a fast B rush, there's no time to switch out for a Molotov as you will lose your spawn. Fox is the third person into the site and doesn't throw any grenades. He follows both Rain and Dennis to the right hand side of the smoke and is focused on getting any trades should they go down. Once the site is clear, he smokes the door and goes to plant, and then holds a very passive position from under the window for the rest of the round. Scream is the fourth player into the site. He throws one flashbang onto the fence and is the only player to hold the left side of the smoke with his attention being on big box. He does manage to get the kill onto Sean Gares when he eventually peeks, but dies from the Molotov shortly after. Makaleli has the AWP aimed at middle doors and actually tags Sean Gares down to 50 HP on the cross. He then runs the tunnels and instantly Molotovs and smokes off lower to prevent any fast pushes from someone close mid or short. It's his job to lock down the tunnels and he does so in good fashion, getting the kill onto Shroud and then picking up the trade onto Freakazoid who was looking over to sight. Unfortunately both Sean Gares and Nothing had bad spawns to be, and with Sean getting tagged through mid this slowed him down even more. For some reason Sean doesn't put down his smoke or Molotov into the B tunnels as he comes through window, instead he tries to get into the big box position as fast as possible and eats the first splash to his face. Whilst being blind he pulls out a Molotov to try and stop the push, in the process, he gets blinded again by the three consecutive flashes at fence. By the time he is able to see, he makes a wide peek and loses the duel to scream. Nothing doesn't have any utility to work with and enters B site through the door. He actually manages to dodge the initial flash but gets instantly blind from the following flashes at fence and tries to make a mad one for cover before getting shot in the back. 